Good morning, everyone. It is 5.30. This week, I am challenging myself. Sorry if I'm talking really quiet, but Adam is asleep in the other room. I am challenging myself with getting up at 5 o'clock every day this week. Here lately, I have been worshipping sleep a lot, and sleep is like my number one priority lately, so I'm trying to change my mindset on that. Get up at 5 in the morning, actually have time to eat breakfast, and not rush, and just literally have time to drink my coffee, because here lately, I have been getting very sleepy on the way to school, to the point where I like have to hold my eyes open on the way to school to like stay awake. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink my coffee, and literally just look at my iPad. I'm hoping that I will continue to get up at five after this week, but for sure this week I have to, so let's hope I stick to it. I really wanna take this time to just have me time because softball started and I don't have that in the afternoons like I used to, and so this is gonna be my new me time. I did not sleep very well last night. I think I woke up every like 30 minutes like wide awake and I mean that never happens like usually when I get asleep I'm like gone so I'm like wide awake now but like every time I woke up last night I was wide awake so I feel like other days this week it's gonna be a little rough waking up at five so I'm gonna sit here play on my iPad and I will check in with you guys later today to see if I'm extra tired this afternoon or at school or something we'll see welcome back guys for you it's been like a second but for me it is now 4 15 in the afternoon almost 12 hours since I woke up I wanted to give you an update since this is the first day I'm waking up at 5 I don't feel that different I mean I'm no more tired than I was than I am when I get up at 5.30. But I did enjoy actually being able to sit there and eat breakfast this morning. And I wasn't as sleepy on the way to school because I had drank some of my coffee. Don't get me wrong, I saved a good amount of it for school. But I drank some of it and I got to actually eat breakfast. So I feel like that in itself is a win. I know 30 minutes doesn't seem like that long, but the difference between 5.30 and 5 is a big difference. So, I have a little bit more energy today than I thought, but I think that's just because it's Monday and I slept. I mean, I didn't have to get up early this weekend. I got up at like 8 every day. So, I have a feeling that that has something to do with it too, with me having this much energy. But, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to catch up with you tomorrow morning and we'll see if I get up as happy-go-lucky as I did this morning. <music> easily as yesterday morning. I actually slept a lot better so it's pretty hard to get up at 5 o'clock. It threw me off a little bit because Adam's alarm went off at 4.55 because he was getting up to go play basketball and I don't actually I don't know if I really ever heard his. I feel like I did though. I don't know. You know how sometimes when you think you did something early in the morning but you can't quite remember if it was a dream or not? That's how I'm feeling about that right now. But anyways, we both got up at the same time. He just got up and obviously didn't have to get ready that much because he was just going to basketball. So he got up, brushed his teeth, all that good stuff, and I was in there getting ready. And I just made myself get up because I was like, you know what, Kelsey, you can sleep 30 more minutes, but that's not what we're doing this week. And I did enjoy yesterday, like having 
to not rush. So I was like, you know what, Kelsey, if you don't want to rush, you need to get up. And that's what I did. I feel a little more tired today, but I also haven't drank any coffee yet. So there's that. But I'm going to sit here and look on my iPad for a little bit. And then I think I might grab my computer and maybe edit the footage I have from this video so far. I don't know. It just depends if I have time. But don't really have an update for today. It's only day two, so it was nice seeing Adam this early in the morning. Usually I don't get to see him until, well, I mean, obviously I see him, but I don't get to talk to him until I get home at like, what? Well, I get home before him so before he until he gets home at like 5 30 I don't really get to see him so it was nice seeing him this early in the morning because normally when he goes to basketball I am still asleep when he leaves <laughs> but that's the only update I think I have for you this morning I'm going to check in with you tomorrow <music> Good morning guys. It's day three of getting up at five. I did hit the snooze this month this morning, but right when I hit it, I was like, no, you just need to get up, whatever. I woke up like super tired, which on most Wednesdays I do anyways. I don't know why Wednesdays are the worst. I don't know. Wednesdays or Thursdays are usually the worst about getting up and I feel super tired when I get up. But let's talk about yesterday. So yesterday I was a little more tired during the day than normal and I don't know if it's because I got up at five I didn't really drink a lot of my coffee before I left so maybe that's it we were watching a movie in class so it was kind of dark so maybe that's what made me sleepy I don't know if me getting up at five was why I felt so tired yesterday but I was pretty tired yesterday but once I got up and moving, I was fine. So I feel like I think it was just because yesterday at school, I didn't really have a lot going on. Like I wasn't up doing things. I was just sitting at my desk grading stuff and while they, while they watched a movie. So I'm not sure. But this morning I for sure did not want to get up. So close to hitting the snooze button, but I did, I, I hit it, but I did not follow it. So. Uh, and that's another reason I wanted to do this video again up at five because I need to discipline myself to like actually get up when my alarm goes off and not hit the snooze button a bunch of times. So gold star for me for doing that. But it is, let's see, it is about 545. So I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave. I'm not eating breakfast here because FFA is giving the teachers breakfast this morning so I'm gonna eat breakfast at school I've got my coffee made and I me and Adam did a video together which you would will have already seen before this this would have came out this would be the video right before that but it's just a video where we tell each other bad jokes and try to make each other laugh but the person that laughs the most loses so if you want to go watch that i will link it up here uh, and i'll show you what i have set up so i just have this set up like it literally just uploaded last night so all i have is my description my title so i have to go in and put a thumbnail and do all these like set it to post tomorrow and all that good stuff but that's what i'm gonna do for the next 30 minutes then i'm gonna get up and go to school i'm giving blood this morning so pray for me Good morning guys you're probably wondering why i'm updating you in my classroom kelsey why are you not in your comfy chair updating like the past three days well that's because i did not get up at five o'clock this morning i my alarm went off at five and i was so 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 tired <laughs> and it's I'm always like that on Thursdays I don't think it's because I've been getting up early like any Thursday there's ever been it doesn't matter what time I go to bed I wake up 
exhausted. I don't know if it's just because you had three full days of school and now you're kind of like, oh. And then Fridays are usually fine because I'm like, yay, it's Friday. But my alarm went off at five. Adam got up and went to basketball, play basketball. And I set my alarm for 5.25 and Oh, well, I tried to go back to sleep, but I mainly just laid there with my eyes closed. So I like, I doze off maybe like once or twice, but I was just exhausted. And I was kind of frustrated with myself for not getting up at five because that's what I said I was gonna do all week. But I don't know, I can only be so mad at myself because I know that Thursdays are rough and on Thursdays are, I just need a little bit of extra rest. So I'm glad that I slept the extra 20 minutes and I still got up earlier than my normal time. So I mean, it's not like I slept till 5.35 and then hit the snooze and got up at 5.45. I mean, I still got up a little bit earlier, but I didn't get to have my time to sit on the chair and play my iPad which I'm kind of disappointed about. I could have had about 10 minutes to sit there and play on my iPad, but I knew as soon as I got sat down and comfortable, I would want to get back up, or I'm not want to get back up. I would have to get back up and go to school. So instead, I left about 15 minutes earlier from the house and just got to school early. And it was kind of nice because nobody was here when I got here, so it was kind of quiet, but that's my update for today. I mean, yesterday was fine. If you didn't already see, if you don't already have me on Instagram, you wouldn't have seen that I gave blood yesterday and I've given blood a good amount of times and yesterday I guess I just went like too early because I'm used to going in the afternoon and I almost passed out so that made me a little tired but other than that yesterday was like a completely normal day so this is day four tomorrow's day five and that will be the end and I will sit down and I will evaluate whether I am going to continue to wake up at five o'clock every morning or if I'm just gonna maybe find a happy medium and wake up at a different time but we'll see good morning guys it is officially day five and the last day i'm getting up at five o'clock it was very hard to get up today at five because it is the end of the week so like all the things i've done all week have like piled up and i just am extra tired but it's friday so i went on ahead and i got up because I know that I want to go get coffee. So I'm up, I'm ready. It is 5.45, so I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave, which is good. I have about 30 minutes left in an, a Netflix show that I'm watching, so I'm probably gonna watch that. And that's probably gonna be it, but I wanted to spend some time today talking about and like reflecting over the whole experience of waking up at 5. My alarm on a normal week is set at 5.35, but I always hit the snooze to like 5.50. So, I mean, I'm kind of getting up like 50 minutes earlier, which is a lot. I do really appreciate having like 30 minutes to just sit here and not do anything. So, now the debate is, do I sacrifice the sleep to have 30 minutes of just chill time in the morning? or do I go back to my old routine and just sacrifice that 30 minutes? Or do I find like a happy medium and wake up at like 520 or something and still have like 10 minutes to like not doing anything? But the main thing that I really liked about getting up at five is not being rushed about anything. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go back to my old time of waking up at 5.50 because then I have like 25 or 30 minutes to get ready and I'm rushed trying to get everything and if I forget to do something the night before, like if I forget to set the coffee, that just sets me back like a lot. So I'm pretty sure I'm either going to keep waking up at 5 or like wake up at like 5.20, like that happy medium. My goal for next week is to continue to work, wake up at 5 and see kind of how it goes because I'm like super tired in the morning, but once I get up and get going, it's not that bad. So I think it's a mental thing. Like I don't know that I'm really that tired in the morning when I think I am. So I think I need to work harder to try to get over that hurdle and just get up even though I'm tired. So I think I'm gonna try and keep making myself get up at five. And I might start allowing myself like 
maybe one snooze or something like that. But for right now, I really, really, really enjoy in the mornings just being able to sit here and not go straight to school. So for me right now, that kind of outweighs sleeping an extra 30, 45 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep you updated on my Instagram so you can go over and follow that. My username is down in the description below. And I will probably update more about this getting over at 5 there than here for a while. I might do an update in like maybe a few months or something. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.